For Sarah, spiders are definitely no laughing matter. Or are they? Sarah is going to confront her fears with a little help from psychologist Dr. Larry Ventus and his furry friend. He's using a new method to treat phobias. This is a non-lethal spider, which is actually pretty gentle and slow moving. While it can bite, and such a bite would be painful, similar to a bee string, it is extremely unlikely that it would bite unless the spider's body were squeezed, which would be painful to the spider. Okay. All right. Okay, Sarah, the first task in the behavioral approach test is, are you willing to open the door and enter the room? Yeah. I ain't touching it, though. Okay, and the next step is, uh, are you willing to stand a distance of 24 feet from the cage? And that would be this first tape strip right here. Yes. Okay, if you'll just do that. Dr. Ventus then has Sarah inch her way closer to the tarantula, rating her fear factor for each task. Five. One, being quickness of breath and general creepiness, and ten, being diarrhea and the shakes. And are you willing to stand two feet from the cage? Yes. All right. Oh, <laughs> And a rating? Yeah, nine. Okay. And now, are you willing to stand one foot from the cage? That's really one foot? That's one foot. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Okay, just stand, step to the tape then. And a rating? Same. Okay. Nine. All right. Are you willing to lightly touch the shed spider skin with your fingertip? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and a rating? Oh, ten. Okay. <laughs> Okay, are you willing to permit me to lightly place the shed spider skin in the palm of your hand? Mm hmm, uh, I, I don't know. Well, if you're not, that's okay. <laughs> I would rather not. <laughs> rather not? I'd rather okay. not. Okay, okay. Mm, it was hard to yeah. see the tarantula. It wasn't that hard when I was standing on the opposite side of the room, but when I was getting closer and closer to it and then having to touch the cage and <laughs> other things. I just was very uncomfortable. The procedure that we're gonna use uh, basically assumes that. Now that he's assessed the extent of her phobia, Dr. Ventus's chuckle therapy can begin. Well, perhaps jokes about spiders will enable you to feel more comfortable. In a study of 40 patients with arachnophobia, he found that using humor was just as effective as more traditional methods. Like putting them on a reality show where they have to eat spiders. A million dollars pays for a lot of therapy. Seeing something in a humorous vein uh, or physiologically relieving the, the intense emotion via laughter could help a person deal with fear. Okay, Sarah, we're going to start with uh, tarantula items. Just make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes. Imagine these as vividly and realistically as you can. And then I'm going to ask you for a rating between 1 and 10, with 1 being neutral, 10 being very humorous. You're standing at the 16-foot mark in the testing situation with the tarantula. You look down the wall toward the covered and secured plexiglass cage, and you can just see the silhouette of the spider. Incredibly, someone seems to have put a tiny pink tutu on it, and its legs stick out above and below like some mutant hairy ballerina. And as you watch, it's doing slow motion, little plies, pirouettes, and chassés, classical ballet steps as only a tarantula can do them. Okay, and a rating on that? Uh, five. Okay. What do you get if you cross a tarantula and a rose? Well, I'm not sure either, but I wouldn't want to have to smell it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
was a 10. Okay. And the laughs don't end here. It's a big ending. Dr. Ventus also gives her homework to reprogram her spider associations. Less Black Widow, more Charlotte. Sarah's first assignment is to fill in the captions for several blank spider cartoons. And then find uses for a big, fat, hairy plastic spider. Man. <laughs> Creepy nightlight. Poor man's lobster. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> Back scratcher. That's what you sound like when you get squished. Hmm. That's it. <laughs> After four of these sessions, does Sarah have the chutzpah to laugh in the face of a big scary tarantula? Let's take a look. Okay, I have a bowl with, uh, again, a dried spider skin in it. Um, are you willing to pick up the bowl containing the shed spider skin? Okay, yes. And then do so. All right. And a rating. Seven. All right. Next, are you willing to lightly touch the shed spider skin with your fingertip? Yes. Okay. Do so. All right. And a rating. Seven. All right. Are you willing to permit me to lightly place the shed spider skin in the palm of your hand? Yes. Okay. Just hold out your hand. And a rating? Eight. Okay. You put your hand down. Are you willing to remove the top lid completely and put it down on the table while you stand beside the cage? Yes. Okay, do that. Okay, and a rating? Eight. All right. Are you willing now to look down at the spider with the screen removed? Yes. Okay, do so. And a rating. Eight. All right. Now the real test. Is she ready to go to the edge and look the enemy in the eye? All eight of them? Are you willing to touch the spider briefly and gently in the cage with your bare hand? Yes. Okay, then do that one. get that girl on a reality show. That's one for the funny black belt, zero for the spider. At first, I didn't think I was going to be able to uh, get through it without stopping like I did at the beginning. Uh, but I figured, okay, it, I felt better um, when I came in the room. Uh, when I got closer, I was thinking, okay, this is still not too bad. Touching it with my bare hands. That was, that was the top. <laughs> the spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. So thanks to laughter, Sarah's horrible fear of spiders won't be passed down to her daughter. I guess laughter is the best medicine. <laughs>